Hi, I'm Kieran Bonnet from MeCat Systems, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a turntable render. While we have our project open, in our viewport, I'm going to go to our turntable feature and select Enable. Once I select Play, you'll see that my project will start to rotate. When I hover back over the turntable feature button, you can see it'll give me a few options. From here, I can pause it, I can click play and I can increase the speed. So in this example, there you can see the speed increases or I can reverse the direction. If I want to reset, I can just select reset. While my turntable um, feature is uh, active, I'm going to go to my output tools and we're actually going to create our render. From here, you'll see I make sure that I go to my turntable render feature option in my output tools so make sure that it's the second from the bottom and here we are going to then specify what um, detail we would like in our render so for this example we're going to keep it as sunglasses we go into our movie output or movie format we want it to be mp4 however there are two other formats available from here we then going to say we want to create a movie under the angle range we would like it to rotate completely from 0 to 360 degrees for our direction we can either specify clock clockwise or counterclockwise in this example we will be specifying clockwise we can also specify frames per second which allows us to increase or decrease the quality of our render we're now just going to specify that I want this render to be 15 seconds long. Okay, so that was the first option. Now the second option is that's your turntable option. Now we're actually going to look at our rendering options for the turntable feature. From here, you can have a look and say you can save, change your file name. You can change your output folder, and the most important under here would be to select your different uh, to change your resolutions so we can go ahead and change the size to HD or 4k size we can change the resolution in this in this option and increase or decrease it from here we are then at the bottom have three rendering settings preview setting is the fastest render however it will not be the most accurate and it will not give you the best re visual representation of your part so that you could consider it as your low quality, your fast, you can consider that as your medium quality and accurate, you can consider that as your high quality. For our render, we are gonna select accurate. Then under your render modes, we have two type of renders. We have two type of render modes rather. We have the quality where we can specify the number of passes. So the more passes, the more accurate the less passes the less accurate or what you could do is select time limit and say we would like this render to run for in this example let's say 30 minutes and from here we can then say start turntable render